Did you know that you depend on tiny little creatures for your morning coffee or tea? They are the bees. They are punctual, they do their work quietly and we hardly notice them. But they play a vital role in our ecosystem. Pollination, a process, works by transporting pollen from one flower to another, which is necessary for the reproduction cycle of certain types of plants such as apples and coffee. Bright, sweet-smelling flowers attract the bees, and these tiny creatures feed on the nectar produced by these flowers, brushing up against the flower's pollen. When the pollinator moves on to another flower, it takes the pollen with it, effectively transporting it to where it needs to be in order to produce seeds. Here is the bad news. We are losing our bees. There are multiple reasons for this. Global warming, climate change and the use of pesticides are the top ones. Pesticide exposure is almost guaranteed in the life of a bee. Recent study has shown a pesticide named neonicotinoids which are commonly sprayed on crops to be killing the bees. This paralyzes the bees and makes them ineffective in their task of reproduction and foraging. When this happens on a large scale, it's called as colony collapse disorder. And if this continues, we are going to miss more than just coffee and apples. Here are some foods that we might lose if bees die on large numbers. For obvious reasons, it's honey first, followed by all three fruits like apricots, peaches, apples, blueberries, blackberries, onions, coffee, vanilla, tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, cauliflower, sugarcane, different bean varieties, nuts like almonds, cashews, coconut, oils like sunflower oil and sesame, cabbage, broccoli, turnips, and finally, chocolate. Here is the good news though. Even if the bees disappear, we have other pollinators such as hummingbirds, butterflies, moths, wasps, bats, ants, beetles and rodents. Even lizards have a part to play. But bees are said to be the most fastest and the most effective pollinators. They contribute to 70% of the total pollination. But why are we talking about bees today? Well, we hardly notice these tiny things that are helping us since mankind has ever known. Today is World Bee Day. Bees are living proof that small things can impact the world in a huge way. So, as Shakespeare would say, to be or not to be, that's the question. <laughs>